Hey guys, Lord Mar A5 here today, and as you may already know from my previous videos, the PS Move Service Steam VR Bridge from Hipster Sloth is not currently functioning, and who knows when that actually is going to function properly. But don't worry, because Driver for VR has a built-in solution, and I'm going to show you how to fix that today. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Alrighty, in order to update to um, the built-in driver for VR, um, the first thing we're going to want to do is, of course, go and get the latest driver for VR version. And this is just to make sure all compatibility is good. So I've I got the website already up here. Um, and obviously, if you have driver for VR, you already have a driver for VR account. Um, now, driver for VR does update by itself, but we're going to go ahead and download a new copy anyway. I'm going to save that to my desktop here. Okay, once we've gotten Driver for VR downloaded, at least the updated version, we're going to go ahead and install that. So, uh, as normal, just go through the uh, install prompts, updates, all that stuff. Doesn't take too much. As you can see, it's uh, installed successfully. And, and like I said, it's just, just the updated version. Now, like I said, driver VR mainly updates, but we don't worry about that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and, and uninstall PS Move Steam VR Bridge 1.5.1. Now, that's the one I showed you how to install in my PS Move service um, setup video. Um, so, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up the PS Move service install files folder. Go to Bridges, and then the PS Move Steam VR Bridge 1.5.1. If you have 1.6 1 installed, all you have to do is go to Programs and Features in the Control Panel and uninstall it from there um, because it's an uninstaller, not an installer. Um, but in order to do this, now if you don't have the PS Move Service Install Folder, maybe you did this a different way or you made a different folder, um, you're still going to have the PS Move Steam VR Bridge 1.5.1 folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here where it says Uninstall Driver Win64.bat. And that's how we're going to uninstall um, the PS Move Service 1.5.1 driver. So go ahead and click that. You're going to get a command prompt window that will come up and it will say it deleted a bunch of files. Well, that's just deleting the uh, PS Move Steam VR bridge files out of uh, the Steam directory. Go ahead and press any key to continue. Okay, now that we have uninstalled the PS Move Service Steam VR bridge 1.5.1 driver from Steam VR, we need to actually go do some editing to the Steam VR settings file, config file. So the very first thing we're going to do is we need to get this what's called a PS Move alignment settings. Now what this does is it grants you basically um, perfect 360 degree movement. So if you may have noticed in the version 1.5.1 um, when you would turn in a circle you might get those weird things where like you know your controllers will go out really way in direction one direction or the other well this should actually prevent that from happening now this took me a little while to figure out how to get this to work but trust me it works and it works well so what we're gonna do first is go ahead and just select from this bracket to this bracket and we're gonna go ahead and copy it now I just want to say one thing about this. This will actually be in a link in the description. So go down in the description to find that information. Once we've gone, went ahead and copied this, we're going to go and open up a folder. So we'll just open up the folder that we had opened it before. We're going to go to our C drive, Program Files x86, scroll down until you find Steam, and then Config. Once you've done this, you'll find the steamvr.vr settings file at the very bottom. You're going to scroll down until you find the PS Move Service section, which as you can see, this is this was our button configurations for SteamVR uh, Bridge 1.5.1 or it, like I said if you're using 1.6. All we're going to do is select from this bracket to this bracket. Right click and paste. So basically what we've done is we've just replaced it with our PS Move settings alignment. 
as you can see this little brackets out there a little bit all you got to do is hit space a couple times and then will align everything nice and neat once you've done that go ahead and hit file and save now if you look right here where it says disable alignment gesture I have hit that for true I also do my use my orientation in alignment and hit that true now the funny thing is when we actually get into driver for VR and all that stuff the, at first everything might look a little wonky but I'll show you how to fix those things in just a moment now that we've saved that go ahead and close it close this folder and then we can close our uh, well you won't have to do this because you'll have to actually get it from the uh, file in the uh, link in the description but I'm gonna go ahead and close that now okay now that we got our button configurations all set and our alignment all taken care of um, what we want to do now is go ahead and run our ghetto vibe just like I showed you in the PS move service setup video so we're gonna do that go ahead and let it run just like normal everything should run um, and then we're going to go open up Steam VR. And when you do that, as we all know, Driver for VR, if you use Driver for VR, runs automatically. Now, normally in this situation, Free Track, as you can see, would be selected normally. And that's the way it's going to be for head tracking. But what we want to do is we actually want to go down here where it says Hand Tracking. And we're gonna go ahead and select PS Move Service Bridge Steam VR Driver. Now this is the driver that's built in to Driver for VR. Now right now we're running 5.0.0.10 beta. Um, in order to get this to work, we obviously need to tell Driver for VR, hey, we have PS Move controllers. That's what we're gonna be using. Because as you can see, the PS Move controllers aren't lit up. But if we hit Tracker Manager open toggle device support window you'll have all these different options now you can play with any of these options you'd like um, there's all kinds of different things that you could do it's really awesome software like I said in my setup video um, you could use Wii modes, joy cons, daydream, gear controller all that good stuff so that's some cool stuff you could look into but what we're wanting to do here is the PS Move service PS Move controller support and we're just going to click the drop down menu and click on now, once you've done that, the next thing we want to do is come down here where it says um, VR configuration. And all we're going to do is change um, this right here. See where it says move button plus move controller. Now, for some reason with the PSI cameras and the way you have to use the controller offsets, which I'll show you in a minute, if you're using this the way it is set right now, the um, the virtual touchpad or thumbpad, if you will, will be backwards, and we want to change that to where it's the PS Move button plus rotation of controller. It works pretty well this way, and it's not in reverse. So that's what we want to change. That once you've done that, go ahead and close this window. Um, we need to close this window, and we need to start driver VR. Now, normally, if you've already gotten your driver for VR set up and everything to where your PS Move service is set up, your tracking should be working already. As you can see, I want to show you something here. My controllers aren't tracking with the thing. As you can see, they did lit up. Why is that? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, they're not set up 100% yet. And I'll show you how to do that right now. What you're going to do now is obviously check your calibration we're at minus 90 which is fine that's what mine is yours could differ but what we were wanting to do is here in the tracker manager we're gonna click that again and you see this right here or VR controllers and trackers are not assigned well over here you have your two devices that are showing up it's PS move 0 and PS move 1 these are your two PS move controllers we're just gonna select one for right and zero for left and now there's sign now if you look over here at the window let me go ahead and close that here you'll notice it is showing controllers but now we have another caveat if we move this are they gonna move with us no 
As you can see, they're messed up. They're in reverse. They're moving away. Oh, no. How are we going to fix that? Well, I tell you, it took me a while to fix this. Now, you will have to play with these settings because I don't know if my settings are going to work specifically for you. But all you got to do is go over here to Controller Shift Offset, click it, and go to Advanced Tab. And you'll have all these different settings. The ones we're worried about is the left and right controllers. So I'm just going to click on this left controller here. And for me, again, what we're going to want to worry about is the yaw setting on the world relative offset and the driver absolute offset. I'm going to change mine to 180 degrees for both the right and the left. Now, if everything is correct, when I move my thing away, as you can see, they're there. They're still a little wonky, but, see? But if we ch take and uh, press the button here, it's in the correct, it's correct now. Now, this one is the left controller. <laughs> and, uh... That's our calibrate button, and this one's right. As you can see, they're now moving with the headset. You know, I could press the PS button, and you'll be able. So, as you can see, everything is working. So, let's go ahead and go into VR itself, and I will show you... Um, what the uh, PS move button does and how that kind of works. So let's go to that now. Okay, so now that we've gotten everything installed, as you can see, I just want to show you the tracking first. Um, the PS move service Steam VR Bridge 1.5, 1.6, you know, like I said, it would go way out like this sometimes. Um, but if you notice, I'll throw up a side by side comparison here. Everything's very smooth. Everything works really well, and it goes in a complete circle like it's supposed to. So, yeah. Um, Thumbsticks, or thumb pads, whatever you want to call it. You press it on the thumb pad and move forward. It gets forward motion, back, left, and right. And the same thing goes with the other controller. Forward, back, left, and right. So let's play a little bit of Space Pirate Trainer and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see the game or the controls are tracking just like they should again. I press it on the thumb pad. Oh man. I'm not very good at this. But yeah, it works. And it's same with over here. So, just to give you an idea here. So you can be in a game. Yeah, as you can see, you can change your shield. Wrong one. <laughs> Change back to a shield, so you can change it back and forth, which is nice. Oh god! But yeah, it works, and I'm really glad it does. So it's pretty awesome. So. Oops. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we got everything working, and uh, you can definitely play the VR games with the PS Move service once again. 
And a big special shout out and thanks to Dry Greg Driver from Driver for VR because without his software, none of this would be possible. Maybe there's somebody out there that's doing a third party solution, but I haven't found it yet. So I will be leaving a link down in the description to Driver for VR's website as normal because um, you're going to need to go download it anyways to get this to work. Um, and it's too bad that the PS Smooth Service project is dying or the hipster soft part of it is dying. It is. I mean, there's a lot of us tinkers out there and a lot of people like us that don't really have the money for the big boy headsets, as I like to call them. But, uh, you know, that's going to change. Now, upcoming in the next month or so, I will be getting an Oculus Quest. And those videos will be coming later on. <laughs> but uh, does that mean I'm going to quit the PS Move Service stuff? Not right away. No, definitely not. Um, it's going to be my main uh, VR headset for the computer as far as uh, if it's compatible with PS Plus Service and works well, I'm going to keep using it because why not, right? Also, means I can do multiplayer now. Well, I really hope that everything made sense and all the updates work for you. Again, if you have any issues, you can leave comments in the description go check out my Discord. But man, we were able to actually fix what... Steam VR and Windows updates broken with the Hipster Sloth Steam VR bridge because with Driver for VR we were able to use his built-in Steam VR driver for PS Move service and it works and it's a couple less steps so if you watch the uh, set of video and watch this video you should have a good understanding on how to get everything to work properly and I hope you I hope you do um, so with that being said leave a like if you like the video and also click that subscribe button. I'm always doing more content when I, of course, have time. <laughs> so without further ado, we'll see you in the next video.